strawberry. It's beautiful. What's it called? Oh, Lallyberry Rhubarb Surprise. Well, go ahead. Dig in. Let me know what you think. as the best dessert chef in the Berry Bitty world has just gone up another notch. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Apple. This beats any dessert that my sister and I have ever created in our lives times ten. Well, what do you think? No, it's just the agony of agreeing with my sister. <laughs> oh, <Sally. laughs> Thank you, everyone. This dessert shouldn't just be for us. Your reputation should be known around the Berry Bitty world. I second what Apple said, and I third it. Oh, thank you. But just knowing you guys like my desserts, oh, that makes me happy. Mmm. 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 That did come out all right, didn't it? <laughs> all right. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's see. <laughs> from all over the world. People wanting to order Strawberry's famous Olalyberry Rhubarb Surprise. How'd it get to be famous? Oh, uh, I think I can answer that question. May I? Um, sure. Hey, that's my Olalyberry Rhubarb Surprise. Famous Olalyberry Rhubarb Surprise. That's my new food review section on my Berry Best Bits site. I call it Yummy Yums. And the honor of my first food review went to you. Berry Bitty City, home to Strawberries Cafe, premiered a fantastically fabulous dessert. Yours truly was honored to be first to dip a spoon in the ultimate taste treat. <laughs> Olalyberry Rhubarb Surprise! Delectably delicious, delightful flavor, Taste tempting texture, a feast for the eyes and the taste buds. <laughs> you have to try it to believe it. Oh, Apple, <laughs> you're so sweet. Ah, thanks, Strawberry. And every word of it is true. Like I say on my Berry Best Bits page, I call them like I taste them. And I've tasted them all around the Berry Bitty world. What can I say? Your desserts are incredible. Aw, oh, thanks. I'm just sorry I have to disappoint all your readers. What do you mean? I'm getting messages from people all over the world trying to place orders for my Olalyberry rhubarb surprises. And I... Oh, here's another one. I'll have to tell them it's only available here at my cafe. Wait, wait, wait. No, what if it's not only available at your cafe? What? Where else? 24-7 around the globe. All dessert, all the time. That's it! Huh? Oh, Alleyberry Rhubarb Surprise! What if people can get it everywhere? Delivered right to their door! You mean, like a mail order business? Exactly! They order your dessert online, you mail it to them. Do you think that many people would really want to order my. How many's that? 112. Just so far this morning. And just for that one dessert. But why just one dessert? Strawberry, all your desserts are great. Think of it. You and Sweet and Sour could make them. I'll taste test them and review them in my Berry Best Bits page. And we ship them all over the world. What do you think? I think it sounds... big. Big? It's colossal! I can see it now. The Berry Bitty Cookery Company. Fresh desserts direct from Strawberry's Kitchen to your door. What do you think? Well, it sounds wonderful. 
172. Are we gonna tell him no? Or are we going to fill those orders? Strawberry's latest creation, which she calls Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse, gets five yummy yum stars out of five. And a bonus, mmm, that's good, from your humble reviewer. And so until next time when your tummy says, let's eat, this is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call him like I taste him. Oh, Apple, that's just wonderful. And the orders keep coming in. This is so exciting. You're making Strawberry famous. It's her recipes that are doing it. I'm just the messenger sharing the good news with the world. Sweet. Your peach parfait's up. Gotta get back to the kitchen. Okay. What's next on the menu? Grape, grape, grandy. Ah. <sighs> mm. 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 Strawberry, you have done it again. Simple words fail to describe the great goodness, the incredibly great goodness of the latest and tastiest wonder from the creative kitchen of Strawberry Shortcake. <gasps> Chew! Morning, Strawberry. A delightful dish called Great Grape Brandy. Morning, Apple. Oh, uh, what's the matter? Got a cold? Nah, allergy. I get it every year when the purple puff petals are in bloom. I can't smell a thing. Well, this will make you feel better. Wait till you read my review of your Great Grape Brandy. Oh, you liked it? Loved it. Another hit. Oh, <laughs> great. Thanks. Here's your latest orders. Three dozen O'Lally Berry Rhubarb Surprises, ten Gooseberry Geysers, two with extra nuts, seventeen Strawberries Fabulous Fig Frappes, half a dozen Nana Num Nums, and a Mucho Mocha Mango Mousse. Uh, two Mucho Mocha Mango Mousses. Excellent. Oh, uh, almost forgot. New cake recipe I made last night for you to taste test. Cake? I absolutely, positively love cake. Well, I hope you like this one. I know I will. Oh, pretty frosting. Sort of a big problem. 
problem actually a really big problem. Maybe you can help me out? Well, certainly, if I can. <laughs> what exactly is the problem? Well, <laughs> you see, the word exactly, <laughs> that's that's uh, part of the problem. Saying things exactly, that's a, uh, ooh, no, uh... It's kind of like a, what do you say when you want to say something but can't find the right words problem. Oh, I understand. So, what kind of things do you want to say? Well, <laughs> see, that's right there, another problem. It's not the kind of thing I want to say, it's what I don't want to say. See? I don't want to say the words I want to say, so I gotta find some other words to say instead. I think I have something that'll help. You do, you do. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. Okay, this is a thesaurus. You look up any word and it tells you all the other words that mean something similar. And the ones that mean the opposite. Whoa. And this one, this is my trusty dictionary. Tells you what all the words mean. Whoa, look at all these words. Isn't it incredible? Thousands, thousands of words. Any words you need, what they mean, how to spell them, how to say them. I mean, it's just, uh. Enjoy! Oh, Blueberry, thanks! I'll bring them back as soon as I'm done! What can I possibly say about Strawberry's new Very Berry Spice Royale cake? Words simply fail to describe it. Its color is beautifully exquisite, glamorously captivating. Its creamy texture is creamier than any texture I've ever experienced. Soft and silky as a cloud. Yes, dessert lovers, I can tell you definitely, absolutely, and for sure, one taste of Very Berry Spice Royale will prove indubitably and irrefutably that it is an out of the ordinary, unexpected, and may I say, unique cake eating experience. This is Apple Dumplin' in Berry Bitty City, saying I call them like I taste them. Sounds like she loved it. <laughs> Sounds like she needs to get a bigger thesaurus before she runs out of words. Hi, Strawberry. Better flour some cake pans. The orders are going to be pouring in. Very, very Spice Royale? Another great review from Apple. Oh, good. I'm glad she liked it. So how's the allergy? Getting better, thanks. The purple puff petals are almost finished blooming. I... Excuse me. <clears throat> Very Bitty Cookery Company desserts direct to your door. Strawberry speaking. Yes? Uh-huh, yes, this is Strawberry Shortcake. Well, I... I'd be honored to. Of course. <laughs> Certainly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty? Yes, it'll arrive on time. Thank you, Your Majesty. That was the Queen of Berryvania. <gasps> She saw Apple's review of my very, very Spice Royale cake. She wants to order one for her inaugural ball. <laughs> Big enough to feed a hundred people! <gasps> oh, oh, that's wow. great! Wow. <laughs> well, we'd better get busy. Higher! Higher! Trust me, I'm trying! Hi, Blueberry. Brought your books back. Thanks, Apple. Did they help? Yep, yeah, perfectly. Problem solved. Well, looks like the mail order business is booming. And it's thanks to you. Oh, no. <laughs> Just calling them like I chased them. Oh, don't be modest. You know royalty is reading your very best bits page? No, come on. They're delivering a 16-layer cake that the Queen of Berryvania ordered for her inaugural ball. Wow, that's great! <gasps> uh, do you happen to know uh, what, what kind of cake it was? Very Berry Spice Royale, the one you raved about in your review.
It's so nice when the purple puff petals close and my nose can unstuff. <laughs> I bet it's nice to be able to smell and taste your own cooking again. Is it ever? I couldn't even... Berry Bitty Cookery Company, desserts direct to your door. Strawberries be... Oh, hello, Your Majesty. I beg your pardon? <gasps> Burnt berry biscuits! Oh, excuse me, Your Majesty, but... Yes? Yes, of course. I'll take care of everything. Strawberry? What is it? Tell you later. It's the cake. The Queen's cake. I gotta go! <laughs> Put it back together again? you the truth. I should have told you the truth, too. Apple? What are you doing here? Tell me the truth about what? Your cake. I just couldn't find a way to say what was wrong with it, so I found a way to say everything that was right about it and left the bad news part out. What bad news part? The cake didn't taste very good. It didn't? No! Don't do that! Why? What's wrong with it? So that's what happened. What? I put in persimmon pepper instead of persimmon powder. They're right next to each other on my spice rack. With my nose stuffed up, I couldn't smell the difference. Hi, sweet. Strawberry. No, everything's fine, but we're going to need another cake. I'm on my way back to help you. Uh, thanks. See you in a few. Strawberry, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to protect your reputation. It's okay, Apple. You never have to be afraid to tell me the truth about what you think of my cooking, good or bad. Just call them like you taste them. News reports from last night's exclusive inaugural ball for the Queen of Berryvania say it was the event of the year. Lots of high fashion, ballroom full of famous royalty, gigantic dinner attended by a blonde, blonde, blah. Ah, here. The Queen herself proclaimed the highlight of the evening was the sumptuous dessert from Berry Bitty City, Strawberry Shortcake's Berry Berry Spice Royale Cake. The most delicious I have ever tasted. Another order for Very Berry Spice Royale. Mm. 
<laughs> Later. Mm, mm, mm. Right now, we're all on a cake break. Indubitably. special berry seeds, so I can't afford a vacation just now. These new berry plants will really do great things for the berry works and everyone in Berry Bitty City. Oh, but Berry can bloom. You gave up your vacation last year to sit with my sick petunias. And the year before that to help bring in the berry harvest. <sighs> Maybe next year. Well, I'd better get these seeds into pots. Wait! Don't you want to see the new issue of Very Bitty World Traveler? Oh, I'll uh, take a look when I'm closer to taking the vacation. Works too hard, that bloom. Not good for a berrykin. Hi, Orange. I just saw Berrykin bloom, and he seemed not very happy. Fantastic! Well, not really. I'd say more sort of mm, sad. No, I mean, look! The magazine is holding a contest. Anyone who can break a Berry Bitty World record wins a vacation of their dreams! That's what'll cheer up Berry Can Bloom a vacation. And I have an idea how to get him one. Good idea, Orange. Good. Oh, it's great. Berry can bloom really deserves a vacation. But breaking a world record to get him one? What can we do that's world record worthy? Well, what are we all good at? You're an expert cook. Raspberry's an amazing fashion designer. <laughs> and Plum, you're such a talented dancer. <laughs> Thank you. We're all good at lots of things. So which one of us should try and break a record? Well, that's my other idea. If we all try to break a record, each of us doing something different, we'd have a better chance of one of us winning the contest. Oh, let's do it! Orange, you're in charge. Oh, uh, okay. The Berry Bitty World Record is twice as high as this souffle. Well, gotta keep trying. Shh, don't tell. 
Hello, Mr. Longface. Berry can bloom. Good day, Miss Shortcake. Good morning. Any specials today? Uh, why, yes. Strawberry souffle. Oh, sounds delicious. I'll have some too, please. <laughs> Coming right up. As I was saying, Mr. Bloom, I've been reading this fascinating history of strange sicknesses, bizarre ailments that anyone could catch. <gasps> My goodness, how catchy are these um, things we could catch? Oh, very catchy. Sneak up on you without warning. I'm on a chapter now about a disease called Goofa Lupus Wackyitis. It causes people to do strange, funny-looking things, things they've never done before and that don't make any sense. Enjoy. Mm, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Blueberry, anything else I can help with before I leave for lunch? No, that's everything, Bosley Bookworm. Thank you. Well, see you after lunch then. See you, Bosley. <laughs> Hello, Berry Bitty World Traveler Magazine? I'm calling about your contest for the free vacation. Well, I just wanted to let you know that there are some very big records that are about to be broken over here in Berry Bitty City. But, but, how many? I'd say about six records. Oh, I don't know what they'll be. Just that they'll be big. Very big. You'll send an official contest, Judge? Friday? Perfect. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Well, it's all set. All set? But, Orange, I'm not sure we're prepared. Prepared? I've been stacking cans in my store for I don't know how long. I'm an expert, and that Judge is going to see a stack of canned goods like never before. Uh, okay. But, but what? Remember, you're in charge. What should we do? Oh, I guess I kind of jumped ahead. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'll make sure everyone has picked something to break a record with. Good idea. What are we gonna do? Maybe if I help you come up with something, it will help me come up with something. Oops. Oh, guess we're not going any higher. I can't stack them outside. They'll get dirty. I know. How's it coming along, Raspberry? <laughs> well, I'm trying to make the very biggest dress ever. <laughs> I tried to make the smallest dress ever, but I couldn't see that small to make those silly stitches. Looking good. Keep at it. The contest judge is coming Friday. Oh, what? Looking good. Ah! Sorry, Lemon. I didn't mean to startle you. Oh, it's okay. It wasn't really record-breaking anyway. <sighs> I tried everything I can think of, even painting toenails faster than anyone did before. Ooh, how'd that work out? Oh. Well, think quick. You've got until the day after tomorrow. That's when the judge gets here. Ah! Oh. Uh, Merba Ernold shoot slipper? Oh, what? Ugh. The record for reading stuff upside down is safe. I simply cannot stand on my head for that long. I'm sorry. Good try, though. <laughs> Having fun? You try and dance while walking on your hands. Hmm? Show me. Uh, I don't think I can. I've been practicing for hours. But, okay, for you. That is incredible. Sick. Sick. Oh, no. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. Oh, 
that time was slower than the last. I'm not sure that breaking the record for reading backward is what I'm best at. Come on, we may be bitty, but I know we can do big things. Okay. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. Times many mountain the climb to try they. Treasure the find could they top the to get could they only if. <laughs> oh dear. What? Oh, my hair. Um, I'm having a problem with the dyes. Can I help you with something, Barry Kim Bloom? Uh, I was worried about. <laughs> oh, bitter berries. Plum? <laughs> what are you uh, worried about? Well, uh, she. Uh, I mean, uh, that is, uh, Miss Lemon. Don't you think she's acting a bit strangely? No. But... Oh, well, you know, she just really loves to exercise. Oh. Oh, well, if that's all it is. Would you like a mineral salt foot soak? <laughs> uh, no, thank you. I think I'd better get this plant into the ground. Well, uh, see you soon. I mean, around. Okay, bye. Ugh, foot soak. Good one, Lemon. Nothing I try seems good enough. In a record-breaking way, I mean. Not to mention, Barry Kim Bloom is getting suspicious. Which he wouldn't have if you hadn't been practicing your record-breaking in broad daylight. Where else can I practice? My studio's too small. Girls, please, let's not pick her. Who said that? She did! Why do we have to meet like this anyway? Because Barry Kim Bloom is out there tonight checking his night blooming jasmines. I think my big dress is just silly. The judge is gonna laugh at me. Guys, guys, where's our can do spirit? Orange is the only one who has can do spirit. Stacking can do spirit, that is. Ha ha ha. That's good, because the person in charge should have can do spirit. Being in charge is harder than I thought. Oh, come on, girls. You must be able to think of something, but not for me. Remember, this is for Berrykin Bloom. Hey! <laughs> oh, dear. Wait! Orange, your can stacking. It gives me an idea. What? Maybe we need to share ideas instead of doing it all alone. Maybe instead of cooking things, I could stack fruit. <laughs> the highest fruit tower in Very Bitty World. Yeah. And after you win, we can eat it. You know what, Strawberry? Your poofiest, highest souffle idea gives me an idea, too. Maybe I'll try a poofiest, highest hairdo. Oh, boy! That's terrific! Oh, but what about me? I'm running out of material for that big dress I'm stitching. That's it! What about a dress with the most stitches? I mean, you've done so many of them in that big dress already, and no one can stitch faster than you. Oh, yes! Thank you, Blueberry! I'm using it. And you know what? No one can read out loud faster than you. Why don't you go for the record of reading really fast instead of upside down and uh, backwards and, well, you know. I can't believe I didn't think of that before. Thanks, Raspberry. See, girls? I knew we could do it if we helped inspire each other a little. What about you, Plum? Uh, I don't know. What about pirouettes? Oh, the most pirouettes in a row! Hey, yeah! Girls, we've got it! All our worries are over! Skipping backwards, eh? Yes, and Miss Orange has been taking her merchandise and stacking it outside. Ooh, a classic case of goofa lupus wackyitis. <laughs> Thank goodness you brought this to my attention. There's no time to lose. Oh, dear. Uh, but are you sure that we need to bring the doctor? Very sure. <laughs> Okay, time to take 
and running, uh, pogoing? Well, yes. I'll let you hop to it, then. See you later! A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? A wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. The less he spoke, the more he heard. Why can't we all be like that wise old bird? Oh. Not fast enough for the world record. Faster, faster! The judge is coming this way! The wise old owl lived in an oak. The more he saw, the less he spoke. <laughs> it's so good of you to come, Dr. Nutby. At first it was just Miss Plum, but then it seemed to spread. Oh, my. Hmm. I personally have never come across this. You'd best inform Princess Berrikin. No telling how far this is going to spread. Oh, tragic. Very sad. What can be done? I'd better see the other patients. Judges around the corner. Oh, keep poofing. Miss <laughs> <clears throat> Meringue, are you in there? Miss Meringue, she has other girls she needs to see. You're right. It wouldn't be fair. I've never seen anything like this. Hi. Well, what do you think? I think you better stop, Miss Plum. <gasps> oh, well. I just get too dizzy. Dizziness. Hmm. But wait until you see Raspberry. We were just on our way. Now, now, it's best not to exert yourself, my dear. Oh, no. You mean you can already tell? It doesn't have enough stitches. Oh. Oops. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll be amazed by what Strawberry is doing. Yes, I'm sure we will. <laughs> I'm afraid this is beyond medical science. It is worse than you described. I'm going to call in more doctors. There's no telling how far this could spread. Oh. Take cover! No! Oh, 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 too late. You didn't get to take a measurement. I'm going to take your temperature. I've never seen anything so severe in all my days as a doctor. Doctor? Dr. Hazelnutby. Now, stick out your tongue, say, ah, uh, and tell uh. me, why have you been stacking fruit? To break a world record so we can win the contest. <sighs> she believes she's in a contest. But, but, but we are in a contest, all of us. Aren't you the judge? I'm the doctor. Mr. Longface called me in to help you because you are all sick. But we're not sick. Now, girls, you can't deny your strange behavior. Hopping and twirling. And stacking cans and cartwheeling and... We were trying to help Orange win a vacation for you. A vacation? For me? If we break a very bitty world record, we'll win a free vacation from the travel magazine. And we... we're going to give it to you. Oh, oh dear. That's the most wonderful... I can't believe it. But we failed. I don't think we failed. Orange, you really took charge and inspired us to do much better. <laughs> Higher, bigger, faster than we all imagined we could. 
Even if none of us broke a world record. Uh, but one of you did break a world record. We did? How do you know? I am the contest judge from the magazine. You? Bosley Bookworm? Yes, they have representatives all over. My, it is hard keeping up with you girls. My stack of cans? <gasps> is that how we broke the record? No, your pogo stick bounces. I have been counting them since I saw you on it a while ago. And look, your hopometer confirms it. You've had ten more continuous bounces than the old record holder. Yeah! <laughs> Congratulations, Barry Kinbloom. The girls have won you a dream vacation to anywhere in the world. I don't know what to say. I'm just so relieved they don't have a goofaloop. A what was it? Goofaloopus wackyitis. It's all right here in my medical book. Goofa what? Oh, Mr. Longface, this isn't a medical book, it's a joke book. It is? Yes, it's just a comedy book full of silly made-up maladies. My goodness, uh, I, I'm very sorry. I guess uh, <laughs> the joke's on me. Don't worry, Mr. Longface, it all worked out. Now that my tower of fruit is on the ground, who wants to come in the cafe and celebrate Barrican Bloom's vacation with a big helping of... <laughs> Strawberry souffle! Yeah! <laughs> home, sweet home, home. Memories are made when berries are grown. Do, 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 do. is in charge of the Wanderberry hunt. And you're the Berry Fest princess this year, so you tell us where to look. Lead on, oh fearless leader! <laughs> Very well, faithful berry hunters! As your most leaderly leader, I hereby decree we look... Hmm, um, how about over that way? Begging the princess's pardon, but the really amazing plants grow over by the creek. I bet it's that way. I read somewhere that Wanderberries like shade. I say we check under those tall flowers. <laughs> I'm so sure we'll find it hiding in there somewhere. Wanderberries need sun. It's gotta be over there. <laughs> Guess they all have their own ideas, huh? I have a feeling we'll find it over here. Just a hunch, but that's what my heart's telling me. Come on, you two. <laughs> Okay, Custard, Popcake, keep your eyes open. Only one Wanderberry plant grows at a time. And it could be anywhere. Could be right under our noses. <laughs> oh! <laughs> There it is. The one and only, one of a kind, <gasps> Wanderberry. <gasps> Isn't it the most very beautiful thing you've ever seen? <laughs> Careful, Pupcake. This berry's going to be our dessert at the Berry Fest feast tomorrow. Look <laughs> out! <laughs> 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 Whoa! Are you all right, Berry Kim Blue? Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Miss Shortcake. Uh, had a little stumble, took a little tumble, as I was looking for. <sighs> but you found it. Oh, my, my, my! Yes, yes, yes! A fine specimen this year. About the biggest I've ever seen. Oh, the color so rich, the shape just so. That texture. Oh, amazing! 
Oh, and the aroma. Oh, yes. Perfect in every way. Oh, Custard, no. Yes, Pat, we must take care. There is but one of these delicious, nutritious berries at any given time. And how fitting that you, our new Berry Fest princess, should have found it. Found it? Found it? Who found it? Strawberry! Strawberry found it! <laughs> Look at it! Isn't it something? Unbelievable! It's incredible! Oh, 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 you know the tradition. It's the Berry Fest Princess who plucks the berry. Oh, I knew that. Didn't you know that? I wanted no, to see if you did. Yeah. <laughs> Princess Strawberry? I'd be honored. Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, harder! You can do it, Strawberry! Give it a good shake! Oh, that's it! <laughs> At this moment, a new Wanderberry is springing up somewhere. Could it be here, or there, or there? We never ever know quite where. This thing's pretty heavy. It's going to take all of us working together to get it back. Is everyone ready? Ready! Uh -huh. Miss Shortcake? <gasps> What's the matter? Did you hear that? Uh, I didn't hear anything. Me neither. Me neither either. But listen. Very close. Oh, there it is again. How very beautiful. Oh, quite a lovely sound. I still don't hear anything. I hear my stomach growling. I'm oh, just thinking about our picnic tomorrow and having this berry for dessert. Oh, it stopped. I wonder why. All I know is we have to get this berry back. Uh, you're right, Orange Blossom. Let's get moving. Hee! Oh! Oh! Hee! get the berry back now. Yeah. What'll we do, a wise leader? Just gonna have to carry it back, I guess. <sighs> that thing must weigh at least a lot. We can do it. Together. Come on, everybody. Grab hold. Let's go with your legs. Okay, guys. Count to three. One, two, three. Better hurry. It's getting dark. Yeah. Can't leave it way out here. Gotta get it back tonight. Right. We have a tradition to keep, you know? Can I take a little break? Too. I think we all need a rest. <laughs> we'll catch our breath, then we'll start again. Well, why can't we just leave it here? Yeah, just for one night. Oh, I don't think we better. Please, Strawberry. Um, it's tradition to store it at the Berry Works, right? We should keep moving, right? Oh, it is tradition, <laughs> but you are the Berry Fest Princess, and this decision is yours to make. 
I know everyone is very tired. We're having the picnic here tomorrow. That's true. So we just have to bring it back. Yeah, I guess it'll be okay. Do you hear that? Mm, it sounds somehow different now. Almost like something's wrong. Maybe we should go look for it to make sure it's all right. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry! It's a disaster! Disaster, disaster! What is? What's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, come on and see. Why wouldn't you tell me what... <gasps> oh, no! Is everything all right? The berry can tell me that... Oh, oh my! We've been robbed by rabbits, burgled by bunnies, and they ate almost every last berry bit! Oh, I was really looking forward to a big berry dessert this afternoon. It just won't be the Berry Fest feast without it. Yeah, it's a tradition. When the old one disappeared, a new one popped up. Somewhere, right, Berry Can Bloom? Oh, yes, uh, that's true. Quite true. All right. We'll have a Wonder Berry after all. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love it. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go find it. I think there's something wrong with that bird. I think it needs me. I think we need you. You know, she's right. There's only about a ton of things to do around here. And since you're the Berry Fest princess this year, you're in charge of everything. You have to judge the flower show. And you need to help with the Berrykin Band concert. And there's the whole Berry Fest feast to plan. And you can't do anything till we find another Wanderberry? You're the leader. You have to decide what we do next. All right, all right. I will decide. Orange Blossom, you help the Berrykin Band set up for their concert. Will do. Lemon Meringue, you get the flower show set up and pick the top three for me. I'm on it. Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin, you'll help me get the food ready for the feast. And you, yes. I want you to go look for the new Wanderberry, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Forty-six and forty-seven. Right. Need about another dozen. All done with the flowers. Need any help in here? Oh, we'd love some help with the sandwiches. The fairy Band's ready to go. Can I help you? We can use all the help we can get. You and I can work on the salad, Orange Blossom. See? We're going to be fun. As long as we work together, nothing can stop us. <gasps> Did you find the new Wanderberry? We looked everywhere. Two times. No, three. We couldn't find it. And we're as sorry as can be. <sighs> oh, no. How can we possibly have the Berry Fest feast without the Wanderberry? It's almost time for the picnic. You still have to pick a winner at the flower show. And there's the band concert, too. So what are we going to do, Strawberry? What are you going to do, Strawberry? You're the leader here. Yeah. Tell us, Strawberry. Well, what's going to happen? What do we do? Yeah, what? I don't know. I need a minute to think by myself. Was it just me, or did she seem a little stressed? Ugh, I have no clue what to do. It's all just oh, too much. Oh, there it is again. It's coming from over there, isn't it? 
It sounds like it's having some real trouble. I better go check on it. Oh, but they're waiting for me back there. What should I do? Oh, it's so hard to decide. It's never easy, is it? Oh, I want to make everybody happy, but they all want something different. I can't decide who to listen to first. Oh, you'll do the right thing. Don't worry that the others might disagree with you. Just listen to your heart, Strawberry Shortcake. You have a very good one, you know. Thank you. I'll tell your friends that you need a few minutes. I know what I have to do. I have to find that bird, but... Oh, which way now? Do you think it sounds weaker? Seems like it's coming from this way. Come on, you two, let's hurry. I still hear it. It's up here somewhere, I'm sure. You can do it, Pupcake. There you go, come on now. I think we're getting closer. Oh, I don't hear it anymore. Do you? Where could it be? What is it, Custard? Oh, you found the Wanderberry. It's smaller than the other one, but it's still very beautiful. I'll be careful not to lose this one. Strawberry! You found it! Oh, we were worried about you. Didn't know you were out here finding the Wanderberry all by yourself. Lucky for us, you're the very best princess this year. Come on, let's get it back to town. In just a moment. Uh, but why not now? Because first, I have to find that bird. Do you know where it is, Pupcake? <laughs> there it is! Oh, poor little fella. Oh my, this sweet little thing. What's the matter with it? I'm not sure. Oh dear, it's all tangled up. Can you get it loose, Strawberry? I think so. There, you're free. Go on, little birdie. You fly away now. We have to get this berry back home. Uh, Strawberry, you coming? Something's still wrong. Oh, it can't fly. Why not? I don't know. Uh, maybe it, it hurt its wing. Oh, we better leave it here and, and get a doctor. Or we could build a stretcher and carry it back to town. Yeah, those are very good ideas, but... What is it? Are you hungry? Uh, Strawberry? That's for the feast, remember? Let's see if it wants some. Does that make you feel better? I have some more. Oh, well, uh, uh, don't give it all. We can find some seeds or something. But this is helping. It's a very special plant. The Wonderberry is especially nutritious. If we don't get the berry back for the feast, everybody's gonna be really disappointed. Well, if they are, I'm sorry. But this is the right thing to do. I know it is. But how can you be so sure? I can't be completely sure, but I have to make what I feel is the best decision and go with it. I guess that's what being in charge is about. I've considered everybody's ideas, but now I have to do what I feel is right, even if it doesn't please everyone. You can't make a better decision than that. It is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, kind of beautiful. Here, little fella. That berry was just what it needed. I'm glad we listened to you, Strawberry. Otherwise, we never would have made up our minds on what to do. 
<laughs> That's why you're the leader, because you know how to stick with a good choice, even if it wasn't what the rest of us wanted. Thanks, guys. Strawberry! It's wonderful! What? What is it? Guess we're having a very fast feast after all. Is everybody ready for dessert? <laughs> I think there's enough to go around. But first, first, my friends, let's thank our hostess, our very fast princess, for this wonderful feast. Thank you, everybody. I'm just glad that... that... What's the matter, Strawberry? You speechless? No. Listen. That's the song it was singing the first time I heard it. No. I think it's a little different. I think this song is a song meant for you. True friends last forever, forever friends stay strong. True friends go together like melody and song. When I'm feeling blue, we smile our way through. Near or far, wherever, true friends, me and you. Special. lasted for many days, but finally, it seemed as if the very long winter was coming to an end. For all the wonderful things Strawberry Shortcake had done to help her neighbors, she had been elected queen of the spring regatta. What's a regatta, Bluebelly? It's a sailboat race. Ooh! The weather turned warm. It seemed like spring was in the air. Raspberry was planning a big fashion show to display her spring line. Okay, so the models will walk around the fabulous fountain. Oh, the fountain, the symbol for spring showers, of watering cans, watering spring, uh, flowers, of snow melting to waterfalls, rivers, raindrops. I think we get the idea. Raspberry, I think it's a wonderful idea. Something a little different than a catwalk. <laughs> I'm so very excited. It's going to be spectacular. 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 Oh, I tell you, no one in Berry Bitty City will have seen a water show like it. It will be a great success, Barrack and Bruce. I've been planning for weeks, but only Strawberry knows about it. It's gonna be a surprise as a celebration of spring. 
I say. Yeah, hand me that wubsalator, would you? Uh, here you are there, Ed, old pal. Uh-huh. Is that a wubsalator? Uh... Hope so? Now you know that it is not so. That. Over there. Now, to your left. Oh, never mind. I'll get it myself. You know, Ed, I'm kind of wishing it was still winter. You know, well, it still could be. This has been a wacky season. Back and forth, coming and going. Oh, I miss skating around on those steady doohickeys Blueberry made us uh, for traveling on the icy roads. Icy skites, Earl. She calls them icy skites. Oh, why, yes, I, I suppose that is true. Well, the roads aren't frosted anymore. So, so, Ed, let's say we glue some ice cubes on our icy skite blades and we could put these doohickeys to use all through the summer. The what goes? Ice cubes, all summer glue. Do you have any idea? I know. Don't say it. Another one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense. You need this? No, I don't need that. I... <gasps> the boss. Barrick and Ed, Barrick and Earl, I have a surprise. You, you do? do? But it's for later. What is it? Uh-uh. Now, if I told you, it wouldn't be a surprise, would it? Oh, yeah. I suppose that's true. Oh, it's lovely, Raspberry. Wait, wait. Oh, yes. Ooh, the crown. I know it's not the real Regatta Queen's crown. You'll have to be officially crowned by Princess Berrykin. But I wanted you to get the whole, you know, the whole idea. I really feel like a queen. Mail delivery, Miss Raspberry Tort. Oh, goodness. Is that your regatta queen costume? <laughs> it is indeed. Didn't Raspberry do a wonderful job? You both do very bitty city justice. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Would you like your mail now as well, Miss Shortcake? <laughs> Why not? Milk, got a buzz. Have a very nice day. Oh, wow. It's the invitation to your spring fashion show at the fountain. Thank you, Raspberry. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh-oh. What a oh I'm sorry, Raspberry, but Barry Ken Bruce planned the big water show weeks ago and wanted to keep it a surprise. Otherwise, he would have known that he wanted the same date as you. Well, I could move my date and resend the invitations, I guess. Let's see if we can work this out. Well, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Raspberry. Hello, Hello Barry Kim Bruce. Bruce. I wonder if you could help us, Barry Kim Bruce. Raspberry sent out invitations to a fashion show she has planned around the fountain. A fashion show? How very wonderful. <sighs> My new spring line. Um, and it's for the same day that you wanted to do your water show. Shh! It's a surprise. I know. She only told me because, well, I was wondering, since no one knows about it yet, could you maybe be flexible with your date? Maybe you could put your show off one day, or have it the day before, or two days before, or two days after, or... Am I invited? Well, sure. <laughs> of course you're invited. Well, I don't see why I couldn't have the water show the day after. Oh, <laughs> oh thank you, Barry King Bruce. You saved my spring fashion show. Oh, well, it's nothing. I'm glad to help. Uh, can you fellas hold down the fort? I gotta go, uh, do something real important. I'll be back in a couple hours. Sounds great, boss. Yep, uh, see you later. Do you suppose it's a surprise thingamajig that he's working on? I don't suppose, because I'm not supposed to suppose. It's a surprise, Earl. That's what the boss wants. That's what he'll have. Nicely done. 
Shall we try it with the music now? Oh, hi, Barry King Bruce. Hi, Barry King Bruce. Uh, Miss Tord, may I have a word? Of course. He seems undone, beside himself. Wonder what he's upset about. But this is the best time for me to work out my fountain show while all the barricans are down at the Berry Works. I don't want them to see the surprise. I understand, but right now is when the light's just right for my rehearsal. And the girls were able to take some time off during lunch. Go, what'll I do? What'll I do? What if you rehearsed your water show at night? Please, not so loud. I don't want anyone else to find out about the surprise. What surprise? Hear someone say surprise? Yeah, I'm doing a spring water show extravaganza. Ooh! Don't worry, we won't breathe a word. A spring water show extravaganza? Wow, that's neat. Yeah. You forgot your lunch, boss. Wowzers. I see you got Super Bitty Aqua Berry Kim Blast on your lunchbox. Maybe you'd like to switch with me sometime. I got Super Bitty Fern Tendril Free to Firefly on mine. Oh, maybe that's not such a good idea. Oh well, back to work. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell anyone about the surprise. Oh. You know, Barry Kim Bruce, Strawberry has a calendar in her cafe with all the community events. Why don't we organize a rehearsal schedule? That's a very good idea. There we go. Problem solved. Now the fashion show and the water show both have their own rehearsal times. <laughs> Sorry I'm late for rehearsal. Wait, stop! Slow down! I liked it all the way up to that last move. Barry and Bruce must have been rehearsing his water show here last night. The whole place is soaking wet. Oh, should we rehearse somewhere else? We could, but today we need to hang the decorations. Oh, I hope they don't get soggy. <sighs> Barry King Bruce is going to get the whole area soaking wet all the time. I... I... I don't know if this whole sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Looking good, oh. Mm-hmm. Say, it's closing time. Where's the boss? You're right. I haven't seen him for hours. Maybe he's working on the... Surprise. Which I guess isn't so much of a surprise to you anymore, is it? Aw, oh, Ed, you know I can't tell. But since I know what the surprise is, maybe I should go check and see if he needs any help with it. You do that. Aw, oh, Ed. Ah! Oh, well, help me down, Earl. I'm all tangled up in these silly decorations. I think they are quite... Cheerful. Oh, just will you please help me down? Oh, oh yes, uh, uh, yes, of course. Uh, 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 <laughs> Thank you. How am I supposed to practice my water show here with all these paper decorations? Uh, maybe we could put umbrellas over them. Uh, see, you put the umbrellas up and and the water doesn't. Um, get on the decorations. <laughs> I think I better go talk to Strawberry. I don't think this sharing the fountain thing is working for me. Um, Earl, thank you. I think I can handle this myself. Uh, okay, boss. I'll see ya later. Ugh. Umbrellas. <sighs> Strawberry, we've tried. <clears throat> we really have. Hmm, you know, I've been thinking, and maybe this is an idea that doesn't make very much sense, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. 
because sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up making more sense than you think. Tell, Tell us. us! What if you combine the fountain show and the fashion show and work together? You mean model my spring line while the water show is going on? <laughs> uh -huh. But my fashions would get soaked. Wait a minute. Barrack and Earl had an idea. Well, he mentioned something about umbrellas. What if your models modeled with umbrellas? That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> what a very unique idea. Oh, the whole spring showers thing I was going for, which is why, well, it's because, I mean, that's why I wanted to do the fashion show around the fountain in the first place. Let's do it. <laughs> Great! Problem solved. Spring celebration. Wow, Lemon, you're almost done. These are the most beautiful sails I have ever seen. This will be the very best spring regatta ever. With the very best queen. Evening, boss. Ah, oh, evening, Ed. Earl. The Super Booster Juice Flow Pumperator is ready to go. This will really boost production at the Berry Works. That's very good news. Uh, anything wrong, boss? Well, I gotta tell you, the, the girls' spring fashion show is spectacular, and I was sort of hoping my water show would be spectacular, too. But with the fashion show in front, I'm worried no one will even notice it. That's uh, rough, boss. Gee. I wish there were just some way to make it bigger, more spectacular. Any ideas, guys? You, um, want to boost the power of the water jets? Well, yeah, that would work. What if we hooked up the Super Booster Juice Flow Pumper to the fountain controls? That's a great idea, Ed. Uh, let's roll her over there. Uh, what is it, Earl? Oh, um, nothing. You want to come along? No, no, I'll just... Get in the way. This'll be great. A water show that no one will ever forget. Rev her up, Ed. Wow! Wow is right. Boy, oh boy, is everyone gonna be surprised. Ooh, they're getting kind of cold, boss. Yeah, well... Let's call it a night. If I didn't know different, you might think winter's coming back. Suppose it happened. It pleased. Exactly. <laughs> what is it, Pupcake? <laughs> not all that froze. I just came from the lake. It's frozen solid. <gasps> huh? Huh? I thought 
thought it was spring. I mean, it was. But I guess it wasn't because winter is definitely back. All those beautiful sails Lemon painted for the spring regatta. Oh, Strawberry, I wish there was a way you could still be queen. Not on a frozen lake. We can icy skite on the frozen lake. I already put my icy skites away. Icy skites and uh, oh, and nothing, nothing. Uh -huh, I know that look. You were getting another of your ideas. You mean one of my ideas that doesn't make very much sense? Listen to me, Earl, old buddy. Don't listen to me. I mean, don't listen to all those times I said your ideas were silly. Just forget them. I'm sorry I said them. Your ideas are very good and should be said. If you have an idea, Barry Ken Earl, we'd love to hear it. Really? Yeah, like you said, Strawberry, sometimes the ideas that don't seem like they make very much sense end up being the best. Like, like, Earl, didn't you have the umbrella idea that saved the show? Uh, when there was a show? Well, my idea is, um, on the lake, I mean, on the ice, we could do it all. A kind of, I don't know, a winter ice skating fashion show thingy? Hey! An ice show! A fashion show on ice! What's this mountain in the middle? Whipped cream. Uh, I mean, the frozen fountain. I, I thought maybe uh, put it out there, right on the ice. Uh, kind of like a... Uh, a centerpiece. An ice sculpture right in the middle of the... <gasps> It'd be beautiful. We'll just slide it over, sculpt it a bit. It'll be spectacular. Hey, yeah! Oh, great idea. Ooh, I could turn my fabulous spring fashions into... into ice fashions. I can donate all the winter fashions you helped me make for my Icy Skites commercial. Wow! It'll totally work! Oh, this is gonna be great! But the regatta... Hmm, the boats... Yeah, there's no way to sail our boats on the ice. No, there's a way. If we borrow some of your icy skites... Oh, like how Barry Kin Bruce and I cleverly combined our shows, we could also combine the regatta! I could write this song all by myself Sing it solo with no one else But that would be lonely, it's true Everything is better with you I could be alone all day By myself in the cafe It doesn't matter what I do Everything is better with you Everything is better with you had come and gone and come back again. This time, no one knew how long it would stay. But this time, it didn't matter. Everyone had found that wintertime or springtime, they could always find a way to have fun together. That in Berry Bitty City, every season had its own very big possibilities.
box. Looking very festive. I have a feeling this masquerade ball will be the perfect way for all of Berry Bitty City to celebrate the grand opening of our dog park. Give it some elbow grease. Let's make this dog park sparkle. Put a little muscle in it. Scrub them good. Let's make them say... Barry can Ed, Barry can Earl. You have work to do. Remember the Barrican code? A Barrican never shirks his work. Uh, yes, sir, boss, sir. Uh, we're on the job. We gotta sneak out of here so we can get to work on <laughs> Project You Know What. Well, sure I know. Project Berry Top Secret. <laughs> Don't say it. Don't even mention its name. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> no, no, no. This is a tablecloth, <laughs> not a toy. Hello. Hey, Huck. How's everything at Berry Big City? Oh, fine. Great. Uh, I got the invitation for the party tomorrow. It's a masquerade ball in honor of the grand opening of the dog park that you helped us build. You know, costumes, music, dancing. It's gonna be fun. See, that's just it. Uh, <laughs> dancing's just not my thing, you know? I appreciate it, but... But I'm sure you'd have a great time once you were here. Dancing? I can't do that. You wouldn't have to, Huck. I'd make sure nobody asked you. I'd stay by your side every minute. Every minute? Not every other minute? <laughs> you couldn't get rid of me if you wanted. Okay. If you promise. Promise. See you tomorrow, 7 o'clock. He'll be here. Oh, no! Scouty! The girls worked super hard on those decorations. And you ruined it. Hold on a minute. I don't think it was Scouty's fault. Hannah? Looks like you guys jumped to a wrong conclusion. We're so sorry, Blueberry. We're sorry, Scouty. Oh, that's okay. Let's clean this up so we can finish decorating. A few details to finish up tomorrow, and we're done. I hope so. I still have to get my dress ready. Let's get a good night's sleep and meet at the cafe in the morning. You coming, Blueberry? Oh, I'm right behind you. Decorations are up. Check. I've started the food. I'll bring some dog treats from the store. Check. Do you need any help with the music, Cherry? All taken care of. Blueberry was going to print some welcome signs. I wonder where she is. I have some extra masks at my boutique if anyone needs one. And if anybody wants help with their hair, Blueberry, hi. Where are you? When I woke up, I wasn't <laughs> feeling too, 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 <laughs> Oh, Blueberry. It's just a little <laughs> cold, but I can't make it. <laughs> Good night. Well, don't worry about the party. You just get better. I promised Huck I'd be there. I said I'd be with you the whole time. He'll be fine. We'll make sure. Now, get back to bed. Can I bring you anything? Thanks, Strawberry. I'm okay. Poor kid. That's too bad. It's worse than bad. It's awful. I know she was really just so... So, looking forward to it. Well, you know Blueberry. She's mostly worried about how Huck will feel. There has to be some way I can help. I have to do something. I know what to do! <laughs> Raspberry has that box of extra gowns. I can go to the masquerade party as Blueberry. Oh, Hannah, isn't that an absolutely super idea? I'll get
get one of the blue gowns and wear a blue wig. Oh, Huck will never know I'm not her. Come on, Hannah. I have a lot of work to do. Something I can... Of course! Blueberry can't go to the party, but I can go to the party for her! I'll wear a blue gown and a blue wig. <laughs> and no one will ever know. Careful, Earl! Careful! You know what's in this thing? Sure! Project Berry Top Secret! Shh! If somebody hears, it won't be secret anymore, will it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Blueberry, how are you feeling? <laughs> Achoo! I felt Achoo! worse, but I... Achoo! I can't remember when. This should help. A fresh brewed batch of Be Better Berry Tea. Drink some and you'll be berry better very soon. Always works for me. Did you hear that, Scouty? Wait, listen. There, hear it? I'm not sneezing. <laughs> Strawberry's tea really did work. I can go to the party and Huck won't be alone after all. There isn't much time. I have to get ready. Won't everyone be surprised to see me? Now, the final touch. Hannah! Come on, girl! I'm right here. <laughs> if my own dog doesn't know me, no one will! If I didn't know I was me, I'd think I was her. Chiffon, it's time! <gasps> Don't be scared, sweetie. <laughs> I'm still me. Hey, Strawberry! You look great! Thanks! You too! Both of you! Is Huck here? I haven't seen him yet. I need to tell him about Blueberry as soon as he gets here. you made it. Have you seen him? Not yet. You still sound a little funny. You're sure you're okay? Oh! <coughs> I'm doing super. Just a little... <coughs> Cough. Better get some of that tea. <laughs> okay, Chiffon. Wish me luck. How's your cough, Blueberry? Cough? It's... It's much, much better, thank you. Oh my gosh, you have laryngitis. Don't talk, it'll strain your throat. Good idea. Seen Huck? Still not here. You seem different somehow. Are you sure you're all right? Never mind, don't talk. But could you tell me, just nod yes or no, have you seen Lemon anywhere? She isn't here. Oh, neither is Raspberry. I'll go get her. I mean, I'll go get her. A party without raspberry is like, um, a bookstore without books. I thought you were looking for raspberry. Oh, I was looking for tea, remember? Wow, your voice is better. How did that happen? Oh, 
uh, yes, well, um, mystery novel lover that I am, uh, it's a mystery. <laughs> hey, I just realized I haven't seen Lemon. I'll go see where she is. <laughs> Strawberry, is he here? Have you seen him? Oh, there he is. Super party, don't you think? I'm not sure, but it seems like something strange is going on. Strange? Strange? What, um, why do you say that? I don't know. I can't quite put my finger on it. Say, have you seen Raspberry? Here I am! Didn't think I'd miss this, did you? What's a party without me? Kind of like a book without a... Uh, never mind. I heard Huck's here. Have you seen him? Huck? Huck? Excuse me! Strawberry? Guess who? It is I, Barrick and Bruce. How do you like my disguise? It's, um... It's... it's great. Excuse me, just a moment. I have to figure something out. Certainly. Plum? Guess who? I'm really glad you made it, Huck. Thanks. This does look like fun. It is. Want something to eat? Sure. When I saw how great the park looked, it made me think, what a cool place to set a mystery story. Like maybe a jewel heist at the masquerade ball mystery. Huck, that's terrific. You want to work on it together? Definitely. Let me get a pad of paper and we'll write down some ideas. Hey, whoa, hold on, Blueberry. You promised you wouldn't leave me alone, remember? Here, sit, eat. That way you won't have to dance with anybody. But... <laughs> Guess who? Ed and Earl? Those guys are supposed to be making sure the lanterns don't run out of sparkleberry juice. If they're shirking their work... So, here you are! <laughs> Siobhan, you can't have this. Uh, go find raspberry! I brought you a piece of raspberry tort. Made it myself. Uh, thanks. Now, let's get to work on our story. Get to work. Story? Oh, our story. Later, later. This is a party. Who wants to work at a party? <laughs> but you said... Hey, want to dance? <laughs> Wait a minute. You're not kidding? Kidding? Uh, no. No? Why would you ask me to dance? How could you ask me to dance? The only reason I agreed to come to this shindig is that you promised that I wouldn't have to... Excuse me, guys. Has anybody seen Raspberry? Well, you're looking right at... Oh, I mean... Well, uh, I mean, not me. I mean, no, yes, I mean... Oh, Raspberry, of course, because I'm Blueberry. I'm a Blueberry. But if it's Raspberry you're looking for, then, uh, that's not me. So, but I bet I can find her for you. Raspberry, that is, that I can do, even though I'm Blueberry. Is it just me, or is everybody acting strange tonight? I don't think they're acting. Huck, there you are. Where'd you think I was? Look what I brought! Lemon meringue pie! Made it myself. Boy, you've sure been baking. And please, don't ask me to dance. Yeah. Why would I? <sighs> well, that's more like it. Not when you're so hungry. Right. But let me know when you've had enough dessert, and then we'll hit the dance floor. <laughs> you really know how to milk a joke. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Listen, while you were gone, I got an idea. About what? About how to pull off the jewel robbery. Hmm. Jewel robbery? The way I see it, a jewel robbery is a natural for a masquerade ball like this. Uh, it is? 
I figure, with this crowd and all the noise, everybody in costume, it'd be easy to steal the jewels. Nobody's gonna know who did it. Jewels, sure, if you say so. Terrific, Blueberry. Then we're on the same page, so to speak. <laughs> How about the jewel heist idea? <gasps> Princess Merrickin, he's gonna steal her tiara. So, you sure you like my idea? You don't seem very excited. Um, well, I'm Blueberry, and I always like your ideas, right? So, yeah, I love it! Now, here's where I really need your help, because you're always so clever at figuring out this part, Blueberry. How do we pull off the getaway? <gasps> getaway? Um, yeah, that's a good idea. I, um, uh, let me get right back to you on that. I think I need tea. My... <coughs> coming back, excuse me. Don't you want to work on the story? Uh, not just this minute, no. How about some shortcake, Huck? Made it myself. Princess, where's the princess? <gasps> so, you know the drill. Sure, I memorized Project Top Berry Secret forwards and backwards. You mean backwards and forwards? Uh huh, that too. No one's gonna see it coming. Yeah. <laughs> They'll never suspect. <gasps> An inside job! Come on, we gotta set up the last fuses. I caught ya! How'd they get away? Well, I'm ready. For what? To talk about. Story. You said you didn't want to. What? I never said that. You did too. I heard you with my own ears. Just like I heard you ask me if I wanted to dance. What? I never would have asked you to. Twice. You sat right there and said, Whoa! <laughs> Maybe you heard what you wanted to hear. Maybe you're just looking for an excuse to go. Maybe I am. Well then. Go! Well, all right then. I will. I'm going. Wait! I'm going first. Huck, where are you going? I'm... Hey! What? What's going on? I have captured a criminal mastermind. Huckleberry? Uh, he was planning to steal the princess's jewels. I stopped him just in time and foiled a grand conspiracy between this villain and that one. Blueberry? Or, uh, uh I mean, uh, that one. Blueberry? What's going on here? Which blueberry is Blueberry? Uh, I am! Would you mind removing your masks? I can't. I'm too embarrassed. I think I know how to settle this. Scouty, will you help me, please? Go on, boy. Go to Blueberry. <laughs> Blueberry, are you all right? Huck said some very mean things to me. None of them made sense. He's not being himself at all. <sighs> He's not the only one. What's this? Who are you? Uh, you? You can't be her. I'm her. Well, if you're her, who's she? Why don't we all take off our masks? Raspberry? Lemon? Blueberry? What are you doing here? Why are you pretending to be me? Well, I thought you were at home sick, and I knew you were worried about Huck being at the party alone, so... Me too! I didn't know she was, and I thought he would be, and so I... But then you... Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> then it must be Barrick and Ed and Earl who are stealing the jewels. Nobody's stealing any jewels. I was talking about a mystery story with Blueberry. Or... Somebody. But, but, uh, I heard Earl talking about Project Berry Top Secret. Uh, it seems like we've all been jumping to conclusions. Ed, Earl, could you come here, please? Aha! Uh -huh. 
You too. Project Berry Top Secret? Did you guys take care of it? Shh! You'll spoil your own surprise, Strawberry. You're in on it too, Strawberry. Oh, the shame of it. <laughs> We're ready to go. Press the button, Earl. Well done, Admiral. Well done. Today that's fresh and exciting. Somebody thinks it's time to change the menu at the cafe. Time to fire up the flavor, notch up the nachos, spice up the spice, dial up the delish. Meaning she wants to fix something that isn't broken. Well, as I always say, it's good to find new ways of doing things. Shows you take pride in your work. Barry Can Bloom has just delivered his crop of chilies. <laughs> A hybrid I call the hot and not. Crossed half a jalapeno with a sun-sweet sugar plum and a hint of mint. Been growing them for years. I sort of like them, uh, but I don't imagine anyone else will. Mmm, <laughs> they look beautiful and smell great. As much as I don't like to agree with my sister, she's right. I use them to make my hot and not chili sauce. What do you think? Mmm, that is the best chili sauce ever. We have to have it at the cafe. That's twice in one day I've agreed with her. I'm starting to get worried. It's wonderful, Barrick and Bloom. What's your secret? <laughs> no secret, really. I follow three simple rules. You can't rush. Everything takes time. Never give up. There's a solution for every problem. And always add a little loving care. Any job worth doing is worth doing well. Got a text message on my phone, but it says it's for you, Barry Can Bloom. It's from... Don't, don't tell me. When it's this time of year, I know who it's from. Tell them I brought you here. I left town, out of the country. Not expected back for a year. Or, or ten. Wait, he sent you a video. <laughs> who is this guy? <sighs> my cousin, Bertram. Boom! Where are you, cuz? I tried every number in Berry Bitty City. This time of year, I bury my phone in the bottom of a flower pot. Hey, you didn't bury your phone in the bottom of a flower pot again, did you? Ha, you know it's that time of year. What's he talking about? Uh, the chili sauce contest at the Big Berry County Fair. Hope you're not entering the contest. You know I'll win the golden chili again. <laughs> hey, just because we're cousins, I thought I'd give you a preview. This year, I've cooked my best batch yet, using my most powerful peppers. Looky, looky. <laughs> Ready for a taste test, my little friend? I'll just give him a drip of a drop. 
to warm up the palate, you see. Don't try this at home, eh? He's a trained professional. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you top that, cuz. <laughs> oh, sometimes he makes me so angry, I could just... just... <sighs> Do forgive me. Great galloping gooseberries. I've never seen him so upset. Cousin Bertram's been getting the best of me since... Well, as long as I can remember. When I entered the first hot sauce contest, well, oh, he's won the golden chili every year. Oh, that is so, so wrong. Right, exactly. Oh, you don't need a gold medal to prove how good a chili sauce cook you are. Oh, thank you, my dear. But it wouldn't hurt. I mean, fine, sure, a medal isn't everything, but it's something, and that's better than nothing. And it'd be the perfect way to show up that... that... Ugh, cousin of yours! Sour's right. There's no reason you can't beat Bert. Uh, yes, but really, I... I couldn't. It just isn't my... my... my style. Style? When I was faced with making eight dozen rhubarb trifles in one night, did I say, it just isn't my style? When my souffle deflated like a flat tire, did I climb under the covers and pull the sheet over my head? No! I say, enter that contest and beat them! Yeah! <laughs> you can oh, my it. Dear. I know it. <laughs> I thank you, but really, it just isn't what I do. Maybe Barry Can Bloom should do what's comfortable for him. Of course he should. And that means he's got to win that contest. This year, the name Barry Can Bloom will mean hot sauce. Yes? Why, yes! This year is my year! To the Chili Patch! And victory! Victory! <laughs> That's the spirit! Don't let anything hold you back! Berry Can Bloom, you're going to have the hottest chili sauce that ever was. With this recipe Apple and I have cooked up, you'll flambe that bully birdie once and for all. How are those new chili peppers coming along? Oh, very nearly there, my dears. I call this one the Hoppin' Poppin'. Just a drop of Bloom's very best plant food. Careful now, there, Barry. Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. Are we ready for a taste test? Absolutely. Volunteers! Just try a drop, okay? Give it a moment. The Hoppin' Poppin' Chili Pepper has a delayed reaction. Another video. It's okay. You got him beat. He just doesn't know it yet. Greetings, cuz! I thought you might like to see how things are going here. Behold, my latest creation! There's hot and there's hot, and that's hot. You'll just have to make yours even hotter. More peppers, Barry Can Bloom, the hottest you have.
Hot sauce? It's rocket fuel. There's no way I could compete with him. How does he do it? Bertram? I don't know. He wins. He always wins. There's no use going on. Wait, wait. Here, take a look at this. What am I supposed to look at? That. What is that stuff? Huh? So that's his trick. Oh, I should have known. That, my dear, is the hottest chili pepper in the very bitty world. The big blue blazer. Wow. Do you have any? Can you grow one? No, unfortunately, no. It's a very rare species. A giant chili that only grows under conditions which cannot be duplicated in a garden. Well, if Bertram got one, they gotta grow somewhere. So... Where? No one knows. It's said they need a speckle of sunlight, a dollop of dew, a whisper of wind, and a twist of morning mist. Speckle sunlight, dollop dew, wind whisper, twist mist. <coughs> the meandering metal fits those conditions. Where exactly is this meandering meadow? You cross Dewdrop Dell, up Loganberry Hill, then a half a mile to the meadow. Sounds easy. If we get one of these big blue blazers, can you make it into hot sauce? Well, of course. But there's hardly time, my dear. The contest is only a day and a half away. How long would it take to get there and get back? If there's no bad weather, um, we can have it by noon tomorrow. Plenty of time. What do you say, Apple? Should we go for it? If it's a giant chili, we're gonna need some help bringing it back. I'll call Strawberry. <laughs> okay, Bloom. Have everything ready to go the second we bring the blue blazer back. Come on, Apple! Oh, it's lovely of them, but still hopeless. Bertram always finds a way to win. Are you sure this is what he wants? Absolutely. And keep his spirits up while we're gone, okay? How? I don't know. Distract him. Do that happiness thing you do. Let's go, go, go! We need to get to Loganberry Hill by nightfall. <laughs> Are we ready for more? <laughs> Wonderful! But be sure to leave room for dessert. We have a fresh butterberry pie that's simply scrumptious. I understand what you're doing, my dear. And I am very grateful, but... Me? Oh, I'm just trying to feed you. And keep my mind off the contest. It's sweet of you, sweet. And it worked. I haven't thought at all about... Oh, where are you? You know you can't hide from me. Him. Hope you're not wasting time with the contest. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Take a look at... Thought I'd turn that off. It hardly matters, my dear. <sighs> He's right, of course. I'll never win that contest. But Barrack and Bloom, what is it you always say? Never give up. I do say that, don't I? And I won't give up. There's still time, still hope. If our friends get back by noon tomorrow. According to your map, we ought to be there right about... Ah! There must be something wrong! The map doesn't show this! We can't climb down there! It'd take a week! What are we gonna do? Hmm. Strawberry? I'm 
thinking about what Barry Kim Bloom says. There's a solution for every problem. This lovely, and no way for cousin what's his name to intrude. A package for me? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> There's no hiding from me, cuz. Can you hear that? My new batch of hot sauce simmering on the stove. The sound of victory! <laughs> Big blue blazer. <laughs> oh boy, we're having fun now. Say, wanna go for a walk? No, uh oh. -uh. Why not? It's too chilly outside. <laughs> It's amazing what you can do when you really try. But we gotta get going. I know, Strawberry. But give us this moment to feel proud of what we've accomplished. We did it. And we did it for Berrykin Bloom. Right. But we gotta get going. After the chili! Oh, no, no, no. Well, now what do we do? <gasps> we better not go out there. We have to find a way to... My, <sighs> what a predicament you have here. But I see you found the last blue blazer of the season. Still, it's not doing my cousin much good out here. Well, you don't need to worry. We'll take care of this. Oh, no. Let me help. I insist. What are you doing? <laughs> Me. Oh, my! Did I do that? No! Oh, Tisk Tisk. What a shame. I've seen some low things in my day, but you are the lowest. You don't play fair, Barry Kim Bertram. No, I play to win. <laughs> Nearly noon. I'm sure they'll be here. It was an ambitious undertaking, my dear. I'd be very surprised if... There they are! You made it! You're back! And uh, the blue blazer? It's in the bottom of a gorge. In little pieces. But... but... what happened? Barry Ken Bertram! He destroyed the blue blazer! We're so sorry, Barry Ken Bloom. There's no cause to be, my dears. You tried your best, and that's all anyone can ask. <laughs> I guess we better pack all this up. Yeah, we'll do it. It's the least we can do. <laughs> what is that delicious aroma? Oh, another batch of hot and not sauce. I made it while I was waiting. Isn't that good? We're adding it to the cafe's menu. Have you ever entered this in the contest? Oh, goodness, no. It's not nearly as hot as the sauce Cousin Bertie makes. But it's delicious. <laughs> and what really matters is, it's yours. You know, she's right. Mm -mm, never considered it before. Uh, but uh, why not? We don't have much time, but we can get it there if we hurry.
Well, now all we can do is wait to hear from the judges. No, but uh, uh, no, my dear, no. I hadn't thought about it really uh, until you just mentioned it. <laughs> Put it completely out of my mind. <laughs> hey, any word from the judges? <laughs> Not that I care, mind you. Uh, only curious. I came by to see if you've heard anything. Not yet, but we could get a call any second. It's them. Well, what did they say? How did Barry can? Blue, where'd he go? He had to leave. Take the message. Oh, what did they say? Chili grower. They said Barry Ken Bloom's saw showed great craftsmanship. A lot of time and effort went into it, and it was obviously made with great loving care. That's more than a sauce. It's you, Barry Ken Bloom. Really, my dear? I find myself speechless. I simply don't know what to say. Well, I do. I say get busy. Start making more hot and not sauce. We put it on our Very Best Bits page catalog, and we're already getting orders. Oh, no. Not again. No, it's from the contest judges. 